today's tip is about how to record a burial versus a cremation event. If your ancestor was was buried, let me open up uh, the individual's information screen, then you would record the date here, you'd record the place here, you'd come over and click on the plus sign and go to burial address and and you would record uh, the cemetery information there. However, if you've uh, learned that the ancestor was instead cremated, uh, you can click on the plus sign here and right here the fourth option down it says cremated. When you click that uh, notice that it will change the label here from buried to cremated. And uh, if I click on the plus sign, uh, notice now that there's a check mark next to cremated. So uh, what we've just done, uh, we've we've applied that uh, that fact or that uh, that event to just this person. So if I click on save, uh, I'll now notice that any place that it it refers to the burial, well now for him. Uh, it's it's going to refer to uh, the cremation event. So notice over here it still has the buried label, and for everyone else it's true. So the same thing in reports. If it's uh, if that per person was cremated, then it will uh, update that information to show that. Another one of the questions that we often are asked is, well, what about uh, you know the memorial service uh, or the scattering of of those ashes? How would re we record that? Well, uh, I'd suggest, and Michelle suggested this in her uh, article, uh, is to come and create a custom event down here. So what I'll do is I'll click on the Add button, and uh, the Add Event screen then shows up. And uh, you can do something like this, Memorial Service. I record the date and the place and then any other notes. and so on. Uh, you'd you'd want to put the... I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say this took place on the 9th of April, so about a month later. And I'm going to click on the Save button. Now if I've got uh, if I've got my potential problems options turned on then usually this would this kind of a an event that is recorded after uh, the date of death is going to flag a potential problem, uh, which are these little red warning symbols. So if you've if you've created an event like that, oh, things like obituary or cemetery or or other things, uh, events that would come afterwards, and you don't want that potential problem uh, to show up for that event name, well, we can go up to the master event list. So we'll go up to the view menu, go to master lists go to event definition and then look up that event name that you just created memorial here we are and I'll click on the edit button and right up here you can put a check mark that says exclude from potential report uh, potential problems report and then this specific uh, event that you've created will uh, not flag that warning okay so uh, just to, that's at the beginning level, just a real quick uh, tip on the burial versus the cremation and how to uh, make that notation.